we're asked to convert the Cartesian coordinates in negative four comma two to polar coordinates in the form r comma theta, where r is greater than zero, and theta is between zero and two pi radians, including zero radians, and not including two pi radians. Let's first plot the point on the Cartesian plane. From the origin, we move left four units, and then up two units. In polar coordinates, r is the distance from the pole to the point, and therefore the length of this segment here is r. And the angle theta is the angle starting along the positive x-axis, rotating counterclockwise to the point, which should be this angle here. And again, theta is not unique, but we are looking for the angle theta in the given interval, which is this angle here. Now to help us find r and theta, let's sketch the reference triangle in the second quadrant where r would be the hypotenuse. So this would be the reference triangle because x is negative four, let's label this leg negative four, and because y is two, let's label this leg two. Notice how r is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, which is why r is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. Remember, r can be positive or negative, but we are told for this problem, r should be greater than zero or positive. And then using the reference triangle, notice that tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, and therefore tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Solving for theta, we have theta equals arctangent of y divided by x. However, we need to be careful here because the range or output of arctangent is the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two, and we're looking for an angle in the second quadrant. So while the output of arctangent is not going to give us the angle we are looking for, it will give us a reference angle that will help us determine the angle theta that we want. Let's first determine r, where again r is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, or in our case, r is equal to the square root of the quantity the square of negative four plus the square of two. Simplifying, we have the square root of 16 plus four. We have r is equal to the square root of 20. The square root of 20 will simplify if 20 contains any perfect square factors, and since 20 is equal to four times five, where four is a perfect square, this will simplify. Since 20 is equal to four times five, the square root of 20 is equal to the square root of four, times the square root of five, and since the square root of four is equal to two, the simplified form of r is r equals two square root five. And now let's determine the angle theta, where again theta is equal to arctangent of y divided by x, in our case, two divided by negative four, which simplifies to arctangent negative one half. And now we need to go to the calculator. The first step is to make sure we are in radian mode by pressing mode. And notice how radian is highlighted, so we are in radian mode. So we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit, and press second tangent for arctangent or inverse tangent, negative one divided by two, close parenthesis and enter. We're told to round to four decimal places. Because we have a four in the fifth decimal place, we round down to negative 0 0.4636. But notice how this is not the angle we are looking for. This angle is actually in the fourth quadrant in the opposite direction of the angle we want. So the angle that we found on the calculator is this angle here in the opposite direction, rotating clockwise this angle is approximately negative 0 0.4636 radians. So there's a couple of ways we can find the angle we are looking for. Remember, tangent is negative in the fourth quadrant as well as the second quadrant, which means, which means these two angles must have the same reference angle, and therefore this reference angle here must be 0 0.4636 radians. And therefore, one way to find our angle theta would be to take pi radians and then subtract 0 0.4636 radians. Or because the two angles are in the opposite direction, we can simply just add pi to negative 0 0.4636 radians. 
So again, theta is approximately negative 0 0.4636 plus pi. Or we can also say theta is approximately pi minus 0 0.4636 radians. Of course, the result is going to be the same. So going back to the calculator, let's go and just add pi. To four decimal places, we have approximately 2.6779 radians. Which means the polar coordinates satisfying the given conditions for the Cartesian coordinates negative four comma two are two square root five comma 2.6779 radians. I hope you found this helpful.